What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know what we just did. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at downtown Disney. We sure are, but we are here specifically for one reason. What is that, Katie? And that is for the Ice Cream series. No, I didn't say ice cream, I said I scream, get it? Yeah, yeah. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the gist of it here. So Salt and Straw in downtown Disney yeah. came out with a new series. As you know, last month, uh, last season, I guess you could say, uh, they had the apple series. So yeah. there was three different apple flavors. Sure. They were interesting, uh, you can <laughs> check them out. I did it with the Royal Dorks, Magic Journeys. We, yeah. we went for it, you weren't there. No. But now, I'm here you need now. to redeem yourself. Yes. And you're gonna try, we're gonna try all three flavors. Oh my gosh. We're excited, it's a Friday. We know it's gonna be busy for the weekend. Yeah. They just dropped today. It just dropped. So like we're I, gonna get in there. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm ambitious, I'm gonna go for this. I'm not usually a big ice cream guy. I'm Mr. Triple Fold Vanilla, but I'm gonna kind of expand my horizons. Yeah, this is a big deal for you to it do. Is. Yeah. And uh, so wish me luck, you guys. This is easy for you. I don't yes. even have oh, to dude, I twist could just, your arm for oh, yeah. anything, salt and straw. You I, just, yeah, I can eat ice cream three days a week. I, all, this is after. true. All this three is flavors, I can finish true. them all. But, uh, you know. but we should get in there. It's starting to fill yeah, up because it uh, it it's, it's Friday and uh, we're going for the ice cream. Are you ready to scream, Katie? I'm, I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Yeah. Woo! All right, let's let's go. And the sun is just popping out. Yes. The yellow umbrellas are glowing. I actually wore my spirit jersey because I was like, dude, it's been overcast. All morning it was overcast. And it's two in the afternoon, and now of course the sun comes out. Yes. But it's okay. It's still not like too hot, and we're luckily not dealing with a lot of humidity. Right, because I would hate for this ice cream to melt. We have we have three flavors to try. Yeah. <laughs> and I even considered, like, should we get one and then eat it and then get another one because of the melt factor, but right. I think the, the weather is with us today. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we should be okay. Now, that could be our backup plan. I don't know. We're gonna see. I yeah. mean, we're being we're being flexible about this. Things are up in the air. You don't yeah. know what could happen. This, this is, is like ice cream is temperamental. Oh boy. And it's just not, like you. It's not cold out, no. so no. we gotta figure it out. But I think we could do it. I'm really excited. All right, passing the Pixar umbrellas. This is for Pixar Charlie. I always shoot this. Shout out to you, Charlie. Looks super mellow for a Friday because tomorrow this will be filled up. Oh yeah. All, all the way, way back. Max capacity. It's gonna be yeah. so, so crowded this weekend. Yes. Any weekend is now, that's just how it is. All right, we're through security. Let's, you know let's start here. here. Healthy hands. Let's, Healthy hands. Yeah. <laughs> Even though we wash them before we. There you go. Oh, is that one empty? Oh, there it, it is. It only works with my right hand. So you can tell it's a Friday and people got off work. Yeah, yeah. And they come straight down here. They need their happiness for the weekend. Yes. And I don't blame them. No. Wow, this is the first time I'm seeing the Backlot uh, premiere shop. Oh, the sign. Yeah, there yeah, it is. Yeah, I haven't seen it prior to this. So. It's very backlot -y. It's very Hollywood with the gold. Yeah, and the, I do like it. They do this red carpet vibe as you saw in the video. So yeah, yeah it's... Uh, you made a pretty good video. You made yeah. a pretty good video. I, I just... Lie. What was that? You made a pretty good video. There you go. I just like to hear that multiple times. You made a great video. Oh, specs. uh huh. It's That's right. Good. That's very right. Good. My compliments to the to the chef. Chef, I guess. I'm essentially the chef. Uh, I'm an edit chef. An edit chef. Yeah. Chopping up the salads. chopping up the clips. Oh, the, I said salads. I don't. Well, you see it as salads because it's food. I get it. Hey, speaking of food. Yeah. Before we eat ice cream, do we have enough time to maybe get like maybe a pretzel or something? Sure. From Wetzel's? You need a base coat? Is a that base, what you're saying? Yeah, just like something. It's a primer for your stomach. Just a little, yeah, just so that we're not like just sugar because we haven't eaten anything today yet. So that's a good idea. Katie, I think you should pose with the back lot sign. Oh, yeah, very nice. Very good. Oh, yeah. See, very red carpet of you. Oh, yes. I love it. You're allowed to eat now. Okay. You've done your work. <laughs> or as Adam and Justin said, you've done your duty. Hello, Tortilla Joe's. Just always worth saying hello to your amazingness. Always. Man, if we had time, but we're we're on an ice cream mission. Yeah, it's pretty packed for a Friday. There's people waiting all over the place for certain things. As we round the corner, I see Salt and Straw in the distance, but we're gonna make a little detour at the fountain. Yay for Wessels! 
Pet Wetzels. Oh, she's making them right now. We didn't that. see those last time, did we? We saw the bigger versions. Those are the uh, the smaller versions. Dude, those look really good. And then look at the pretzels back there. Look oh. at how impressive the the shaping and the, the like the way that they wrap them. And you mean how impressive? How I'll, impressive? I'll give you that one actually. I will give you that one. Thank you. And then look over there. Oh. Look at this. What are they putting on that? What is that? Oh, he's putting goodness on there. That looks like cheese. Oh, it is cheese. Oh. Oh my god. I love cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. I think I might get the mini. Let's get the mini dogs that we saw being made. But I want the mini like pepperoni cheese ones. Oh, you get whatever you want. I'm getting those. Okay, we'll each get a cup. Because I saw them being prepared and I, yeah. I rather enjoyed that. And some are cheese and some are plain. So you're going to get the cheese. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love that this sign says get twisted. Some could take a different meaning from that, but this is this is a pretzel reference, folks. Family show. All right, Wetzel Lee show. What do we got? Let's see. Okay. Laying the base coat down. Cheddar cheese. Oh. My pizza ones and your hot dog ones. All right. This might be the best lunch ever. This cheese is so warm, is the it? cheese sauce. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna try it with a little pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh my god. That is so good. Dang it, Wetzel's. You can't do this to me. Mm. I can't wait to see you eat this. Mmm, <laughs> that is so good. Alright, it is pig in a blanket time. I'm so tempted to just eat it right now, but this is what they were making right there at the counter, so I had to get it. Uh, do a little dipper. You gotta dip it in the cheese. <laughs> Jumped out a little bit. The cheese is so salty. Mm. It's really good because it's just a perfect little bite. Yeah. A little bit of leftover cheesy bread. And it's like the size of a little smoky, or what do they call them? Little smoky? Yeah, little smoky. Yeah. But I think those are smoky, right? These are not. These are just regular. It's just regular hot dogs. Regular hot dogs. Yeah. The pizza one's good. You want to try the pizza one? Sure. One sec. Let me just throw down one of these. I'm just gonna throw it down. Just, I'm not scared. I do it. Oh, I got you a good bite right here. Pepperoni with the cheese. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mmm. Good, huh? I'm gonna try a hot dog one while you do that. That's really good. This is a great little like lunch thing. Alba. Now, I noticed that they also had like a tomato sauce that you could dip with that pizza. Oh, marinara? They had a couple different sauces that I noticed, so. Why did I just go to cheese? I just well, like, I went straight for it. I was like. I probably influenced you a little bit. Uh, I wasn't gonna say no when you said cheese. I was like, eh, let her go there. Yeah, let her go. Yeah, yeah. we probably could have gotten two things because we got two orders. Mm -hmm. So that's where we kind of failed. We could have got one marinara and one of those, but. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm full. That was good. But not. Full. Got a good base coat going there? Yep, I All got right. a good base coat. A primer, as I'm calling it, the Katie primer. Yes. And now? It's time for ice cream. Oh boy. I'm so excited. No, really? So excited. I swear, the day that you have a problem with ice cream or say you don't want it, I'm gonna think well, that there's wrong. Yeah. Something, something wrong in the universe. Wrong. I see it in the distance, Katie. I see it too. I can almost smell it. Like when you get close enough, there's this like permeation of like the waffle cones. Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. Here's the menu. Ice cream series. There's no better time than Halloween to embrace your dark side, your sweet side, your imaginative and offbeat side. And it goes on and on about all that stuff. But here are the are the flavors. Creepy crawly critters. This is matcha ice cream with toffee brittle mealworms. Ooh. And chocolate crickets. Oh my gosh. Don Baguito in Oakland provided the delicious bugs. Uh, 
All right, so that's that. I've also got the Great Candy Copia. This one is crisp shortbread and nutty nougat buried in caramel, peanut butter trapped inside walls of chocolate. They're trapped inside the walls of chocolate. Pecan smothered in bourbon vanilla toffee. Get folded into a disgustingly delicious salted butterscotch ice cream stuck for eternity. And then the final one, Mummy's Pumpkin Spice Potion. This is the vegan one, you see the V there. This one is a fuming broth of caramel sizzles while a sliver of blackberry shoot fizzles. This intoxicating buttery concoction will satiate your deepest darkest PSL desires. Made with August Uncommon Tea. Those are the three flavors. And then there's the QR code so you guys can scan that. Let's uh, let's get in there and see what we can uh, find. Okay. Head it in. Here it is up there. Look. All right. There's the signage ice cream series. That's very festive. I like that. And then here's the other sign that has the three flavors: the great candy copia, the creepy crawly critters, and the mummy's pumpkin spice potion. That's the vegan one. All right. One of them has real bugs in there. Wait, what? Like legitimately crickets and mealworms. I thought they were just saying that for effect. No, it's real. Okay, so. Well, you said you were down. You said you were down. Oh my gosh, there they are. All right, let's do it. Here we go. This is crazy. Okay, they have found their temporary home because pretty soon they're going to be in our bellies. All right, which one are we going to start with? I guess um, let's go left to right. Yeah, let's try the vegan one first. So this is the Mummy's Pumpkin Spice Potion and the description that they give us, first of all, they say it's vegan, coconut based. It says a fuming broth of caramel sputters and sizzles while a sliver of spiky blackberry shoot fizzles. Oh wow. Three stinging droplets of vanilla smolder. Slips of Turkish apple make it now colder. They're intoxicatingly rich pumpkin tea. Psycho candy is so buttery and perfect for autumn that brewed our potion by mixing into coconut cream and luscious ribbon of earthy pumpkin butter. Sweet, spicy pumpkin ice cream, challenge accepted pumpkin spice lovers. It looks like very pumpkin-y, that, that color. Yeah, we're gonna... Is that go. the caramel? I don't know. No, uh, that's the swirl of pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, okay. That is complex. I don't not like it. It's just complex. That is so weird. It's almost butterscotchy. I don't, I can't say that it's very pumpkin heavy. Okay. You would think since I bit right into the swirl, it would be super pumpkin heavy. What about the blackberry? It's got the slightest hint of like a berry note to okay. it. A very slight. I'm, I'm very really, slight? Is that what it, you're trying to say? It, it almost, oddly, it tastes almost like a, like a caramel corn in a weird way. Or like a candy corn? No? No, almost caramely. It's All got right. a weird, it's definitely I can usually I can usually decipher these things. Let yeah, me, I'm curious to see what you think about it. I'll break this down for you guys. Yeah, because I can't figure it out. Butterscotchy. Right, like it's like a butterscotch. I taste that. I taste the blackberry. It's like a blackberry butterscotchy kind of vibe. Like you, I don't taste the pumpkin necessarily. Yeah, wouldn't which, you think it'd be super pumpkin heavy? Which I'm kind of glad though. It's it's it, there could be a subtleness there because. Really, the flavors blend into one flavor, so that's why yeah. it's hard to decipher. It's not bad. I'm not mad at it, and that's vegan. Yeah, I could actually eat that again. A coconut-based ice cream, like that's what I can taste the coconut too. Like afterwards, it's now yeah. I'm starting to. Isn't it interesting? It's hard to describe. It's yeah. really a harder one to describe. Overtones I would say. of butterscotch and raspberry, followed by a delayed reaction of a coconut flavor, right at the end. Quite nice. What am I doing? I don't know. You're swirling the the brew. I don't know what you're doing. It's scaring me a little bit. Okay, so next is that green one, but that is the one with the bugs in it. We're gonna save that for last. That's, yeah, let's save that's that. the crescendo because I, I can't believe we're gonna be eating real bugs. Anyways. So we're gonna have the great candy topia next. Alright. We hear this one's very popular. They uh, the people inside Salt and Straw said this is the one that they like the best and I mean, come on, there's a bunch of candy bars in it. Uh, I could kind of tell by looking at it that, you know, it's one of those one of those classic blends that I, I don't think you can go wrong. Here's the description. The Great Candy Topia. Crisp shortbread and nutty nougat buried alive in caramel and chocolate. Peanut butter trapped inside walls of chocolate pecan yeah. smothered in bourbon vanilla toffee. Well, we're committing candy treason by cramming heaps of each bar into a disguisingly delicious salted butter scotch ice cream oh stuck for eternity. Sweet tooths, sweet tooths rejoice. 
It's uh, appending your whole bag of a trick-or-treat flavors right into our ice cream So maker. Heath Bar? Did you say Heath Bar? Yeah. So yeah, look at all these pieces of candy in there. Like, yeah. this is no joke. Careful, and that's a big bite. Are you gonna be able to handle that? <laughs> I won't be able to eat the whole thing, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna really go for it though. Mm. We kind of knew this one would be good, right? Mm -hmm. What's the overwhelming flavor? Like a Snickers bar. Oh, okay. For me. Like, mm, oh my gosh. And then you get the Heath bar. Okay. And like a cookie. Dude, this is so good. Yeah, because there's shortbread cookie in mm. there. This almost tastes like a Butterfinger. Oh, really? I like Butterfingers. You get separately every candy bar oh, okay like you get snickers and then you get hit with Reese's and then it goes to Butterfinger and then it gets chocolatey because I the mean, candy bars are trapped for eternity Katie yeah, I mean look at, look at this there's like pieces of oh, easy look at she, <laughs> I don't even get a bite of this do I so you're saying that you could add hot fudge to these mm -hmm. you could customize it Dude, even they beyond could put toppings on it oh wow oh yeah we're okay just, we're just keeping it raw for the, the review here yeah. so see what I think of this like while you're eating it, I'm gonna just keep eating more of it because it's so good. Mm. I see what you mean about initially Snickers right off the right? bat. Right? Like, isn't it weird how it hits you? Mm -hmm. And then the Heath bar. I mean, that's just maybe the way my bite was because the last thing I had was like the crunch of the Heath bar. But yeah, it's really good. I am buying pints of this because it's got like the salty caramel. Yeah. Um, it's got a little crunch in it and a peanut butter after. Silky caramel, but yep. then it hits you with some chocolate notes. This might be my all-time favorite ice cream of all now. What? I think I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. This is my favorite ice cream I've ever had in my life. I don't taste the bourbon, the bourbon, or the mm. boo bourbon uh, that's supposed to be full in there, but. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, this is my favorite ice cream of all time. The problem though is that this is for a limited time, correct? Mm -hmm. so, so I think I could buy pints of it. And store it. Store it in a deep freezer. Rent some cold storage space and uh, make it happen. Dude, this is that good to me. This is the, my favorite. Like, you, I thought maybe it'd be too peanut buttery for me, but I have like... Like, it's almost gone. Yeah. Easy. We got another one to try here. I guess nobody's surprised that you like the candy topia version the best. That's, that is no surprise Dude, whatsoever. I, I just got a crunch of the Heath bar now. See? Which is more kind of peanut buttery, so I'm surprised that you like that, because I know you're not a big peanut butter fan like I am. No. No, Heath bar is a little more, to me, like a caramel. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Get this away from me. Yeah, this is dangerous for her. Okay, here it is. This Apologize is. Apologize, it's starting to melt. Yeah. <laughs> so this is creepy crawly critters, and it literally is. Okay, the description is. This is creepy crawly critters. Yes, it for is. For real. Matcha green tea ice cream with toffee brittle mealworms and chocolate crickets. So chocolate covered crickets, basically. Let's do it at the same time. Yeah, dude, this is crazy. I'm a little. I like... can't believe there's like a bug, dude. This is like, uh, Here's yours. I feel like I'm on an episode of Fear Factor for real, and I, I swear I would never do this kind of stuff, but like, we're doing this for you guys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in some, for some cultures and whatnot, this is completely normal, but this is not in our scope. So we're trying, you know, with oh, being man. respectful to that, this is not something we would normally do. Like, we're really big food weirdos. We're, we're not very adventurous eaters. I am more than you even. It just depends on what we're talking about. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say one is more adventurous than the other. It's just we're very picky and eating bugs. I don't know. This is really gnarly. Okay. Are you ready to eat bugs, Katie? No, but let's go. We got no choice. We should just cheers it because... You're not even a big green tea fan, are you? No. Oh boy. This is really not going to be good for you. Okay, one, two, three, go. Man, I think I'm <laughs> seriously. I, had to, I couldn't chew it because I think I got a cricket. It's very earthy. The matcha is like okay. So I need some water. Oh my gosh! If you like matcha, oh, it doesn't taste like a bug or like what you would think. But I think in my mind is telling me that, and it was had a lot of oh texture. Oh my gosh! So, yeah. Man. Oh no. Oh gonna... gosh, I did! Ew! <gasps> Dude, there's a piece of a mealworm like that. I was eating. Oh. That's not for me. That's oh, not for me. Oh man, that was weird. Hold on, we need a, we need a hit of Candy Topia. Yeah, bring the Candy we Topia need some back. Candy Topia. Oh my gosh. Oh. Because the, the flavor's like lingering, man. That makes it better. Mm. Oh, saved. That saved us. 
I mean, good on them for doing something really scary for Halloween because that is like. Honestly, and the the matcha, if you like matcha, which I do, it's very strong, good quality matcha. Or is that just the crickets? I don't know. No, no, that's matcha. Like I know that because you don't normally like matcha green tea. Um, but my brain was like seeing a little cross section of a cricket with a leg, and I'm chewing. Nope, just, I'm just being honest, not a fan. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't like it. Mm -hmm. um, I suggest you try it, because it's fun to try it. Get a kid scoop, it's five bucks. Yeah, that's what we did. We got kid scoops, we didn't get even singles, because, yeah. thank goodness, because that, no, no. You want another bite of this? Yeah, anything to. Now, here it is. It's, it's very good quality, strong matcha yeah. green tea. Um, that I know, because I do like a good matcha green tea. Um, but that combined with the like, you can't really taste how they're, uh, they're like toffee brittle crickets or, or mealworms or whatever. You can't really get that. You honestly just get this kind of like buggy taste, like a salty buggy taste. And that kind of, and that's what did it for me. At Ugh. first I couldn't taste it, but then I bit into a mealworm or a cricket. Oh, man. And like, I really got this like punch of like a squirt, of <laughs> like a, like a shot of, really like over salty earthy and it was just too much when you combine that with the matcha that's already really you know a strong flavor on its own it just combined and i mean for you i know how much you don't like matcha you know how matcha i just like matcha yeah the winner here though is candytopia 100 yeah. fold would love the candytopia that's that's number one for me and then the pumpkin one is number two mm -hmm. the pumpkin one to me tastes the most like a specialty holiday flavor Whereas the candy one, Candy Topias. That should be around all year round. Correct. But, so good. But the pumpkin one, it does have a very nice fall kind yeah. of flavor to it. I so, would totally agree with that. Yeah, if you were to, uh, if you wanted to get something that was, you know, really specific to fall, I would say get that one. If you're feeling adventurous and you're feeling like you really want to get scared, whoa, then go try the matcha with the bugs and. Yeah, it definitely and good is luck. interesting. That's all I'm saying. Good luck with it. It's interesting. And uh, and let us let us know in the comments if you guys try this and and your reactions. I would love to hear some folks' reactions on this. Yeah, uh, I will say though, it's cool to try that, yeah. and um, it makes you appreciate how. You know, like I said, there's other cultures that they eat bugs like that all the time. It's completely normal. So yeah, um, it well, makes you appreciate how, how different hey, our palates can be. Hey, if I was out in, in the middle of nowhere and I had no choice and, and I had to get protein to survive, you trust bet me, I would eat, be eating bugs wouldn't have a too. problem with it. I'd be eating all sorts of things that are, are very undesirable at, at the moment. But uh, <laughs> that's a stretch for downtown Disney, I'll tell you what. That, yeah, that's, that was uh, crazy. That's kind of cool you could come to downtown Disney and eat bug ice cream. Yeah. We ate bug ice cream today. Like, Dude. We lived our best Oogie Boogie life. Oogie Telling Boogie you. would be proud because he's in bug. He would, he would. Okay, okay well, that is it. Uh, bug Leisha. That was insane. Yeah, to say the least. Uh, I mean, it's, it's funny, like, that's how it, that's adventurous for us right now. It is, I have to say. Uh, I, I finally had something that I really didn't like. Usually I like most of the things that we tried. <laughs> it's true. So, uh, If you like this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. That's and right. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's right. And we will see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.